What's going on, guys? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the show. I'm going to review the upcoming season two of Heartstopper. Um, this season follows Nick and Charlie as they navigate their new relationship. Tara and Darcy face some unforeseen challenges. Tao and Eli uh, L work out if they can be more than just friends with exams on the horizon, a school trip to Paris, and a prom to plan. The gang has a lot to juggle as they journey through the next stages of their life, love, and friendship. Uh, when the season kicks off, we see Charlie and Nick in that puppy love stage of their relationship, the nonstop texting, the showing up at each other's house, the consistent want of just be in each other's bubble 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Some obstacles are thrown their way throughout this entire season, with Nick battling trying to come out to his friends and his family, while Ch um, Nick, while Charlie juggles his parents putting their foot down, not allowing him to see Nick because of his lack of interest in school because of, they believe because of this newfound relationship. Alice Oseman, the, the creator of this series and the writer, has built this kind of simplistic world filled with the weight of conflict that packs such an emotional punch. It's hard not to be engulfed in this world building of these characters struggling to find themselves while fighting off an unaccepting world. On the surface, you have two incredibly written characters in Charlie and Nick that are easy to find yourself attached to, to easily find yourself rooting for this relationship. But season two is this exploration of more characters, which makes your more, which makes your investment even more rewarding. Two of those characters in this season are Elle and Tao. We met them obviously in season one, but at the end of the season, we saw the two almost kiss. Throughout this season, they kind of navigate whether or not if they should be just friends or whether if they should chase this relationship. And of course, in the back of the, both of their minds, Elle is on the verge of possibly going to art school. What would that do to their relationship? Osmond explores the struggles of love in friendships beautifully and poignantly. Yasmin Finney and William Gao are both my MVPs of this season. They both did such an incredible job with this added screen time and dialogue. When I tell you, when they navigate in and out of trying to figure out when they're going to be in a relationship, there's some strong moments between these characters that really make you feel all this empathy and struggle and also put yourself in their shoes trying to figure out who's making the right decision, who's not making the right decision, right? It's not easy to, to try to fall in love, be in school, and, and, and navigate all these things together. Let me just put it to you simply. Overall, season two of Heartstopper is brilliant. I think out of all of the reviews that I did, and you can check out each of my each episode recap over at Ready Steady Cut. There was like one episode I gave three and a half stars, four or five I gave four stars, and of course the season finale I gave five stars. Alice Osman, she raised the stakes by allowing other characters to blossom while never losing sight of Charlie and Nick. Few shows have tackled the world of acceptance with the LGBTQ community better than what Osmond has done with this series. Every layer of this show is filled with passion and love. Of course, Kit Connor and Joe Locke are absolutely breathtaking and brilliant as Charlie and Nick. Folks, do not miss season two of the show. It's fantastic. And if you're looking for a sign to watch the show, rewind, go back to season one, check it out, and then binge all the way up to season two because I am ready for season three.